Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Thursday, uh, November 16th. And it uh, starts with a Bible verse, as usual. And it goes as follows. And walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Ephesians 5, 2. Now our inspirational story. I wasn't born with the love to clean house gene. So when a friend showed me her robotic vacuum that ne nearly ran itself, I convinced my husband we needed one. I love to watch this miracle gadget spin over floors and carpets. It inhales all the dirt in its path, pivots, then when it hits a wall, and plugs itself back into the charger when it's finished. I also love having a clean floor without lifting a finger. Nevertheless, our new toy requires more involvement from us than we'd hoped. It needs rescuing if it catches on fringe from a bedspread or it hits a carpet snag. We also need to empty the canister after each use. That vacuum reminds me of a bit reminds me a bit of me. I need to grow in many areas, overcome bad habits, gain victory over besetting sins with which I con con with I which I constantly struggle. I'd prefer that Jesus do all the work. I want to come to him with my worry, gluttony, or envy and have him make it all disappear like that cat, cat hair that our miracle vacuum sucks up without any work on my part, without having to clean out that pesky dirt bag in, in my heart. I want to simply watch Jesus do his thing. Then I remember that he already has. His sacrifice on the cross has made me clean with, with no effort required on my part. I needn't even lift a finger. That's the real miracle. Jeanette LaValle. Face step. Write down a list of your own dirty spots you're struggling with. Pray about them daily and ask Jesus to make you clean. Well, I think we all struggle here. And uh, hmm. I enjoyed this one. I hope y'all did too. Um, Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.